Cú Holland, I see as uh, the wild beast, the hero. Lake in the Lake is uh, the title of the exhibition. Uh, so Cú Holland is, is our great uh, hero and uh, I've painted him as a wild beast. I've painted him not as somebody that, that's going from life to death. It's as a spirit that is, uh, cannot be beaten, can't be conquered. It's a spirit that, that should be in everybody. If you, do, if you do start something, you should give it all you've got because you've only got one, one life maybe to carry this out. The sad thing is now that um, in schools we're teaching children to limit their experience, to control things. So the wild uh, person comes out. And, and that's why our game of hurling and, and Gaelic football and rugby and all the rest of it is so important that people express themselves through sport, but not only through sports, but through maths and science as well. You know, because we have to push on. You have the Ebola plagues and now in Africa. And the people that are going to solve those are people with great creativity and great individuality, right? So, uh, so though that's my crew Holland Lake Nalekra, but also uh, in the art world you had the wild beasts, the, the fovists fov, or uh, the wild beasts. Um, they were called that because a critic called them that. Um, I don't know if he was contemptuous about them, but he said that their their paints uh, were like uh, sticks of uh, dynamite. Uh, that was in 1906, more or less, and uh, Louis. Bosel uh, in France, he saw um, Van Dungen's work and Dufay's work and Matisse and uh, Raoul, I suppose. And, um, so in the painting world, you have people like that who ha have individuality and have creativity. And Coo Holland had that. Um, so the story itself is, is in the canvas, well, I suppose the con you've always had content and form, right? The content of the painting is the bull fighting over the bull and cattle. Um, up to fairly recently in Ireland and Scotland indeed, but I was in Robbie Barnes's house the other day and just remarked there, it was just like my grandfather and granny's house. The, the stable was next door. You walked from, straight from the kitchen in, into the where the horses were kept and the spuds were kept in the next room and the chickens and all the rest. Uh, same in Robbie Barnes' house, uh, people live very close to animals. And uh, with Coo Holland and this closeness to the, the, the otter, to the horse and all the rest of it. Um, there's a, uh, maybe on, on, the can, on the canvas here, uh, on the hide of the bull, I painted the, uh, the hurley match. Um, uh, over here, not too far away, is Coo Holland, the head hunter. He's showing off the heads. You have a, a totem pole here. You have another figure of a bull fighting here. You have him performing all his great feats, all his tricks of uh, swordsmanship, athleticism. Um, and here he is on the chariot, and there's his, his charioteer, lag the charioteer. Uh, and what else have you got in this one? Uh, the two bulls, the Finn Bannock and the Dun Cooling, you the two bulls fighting it out here. Coo Holland performing as fiercely. You have the, the Ulster Army here. You, you have, and all the paintings I've brought in as well the, the fake do, the raven, the, the crow, uh, the goddess of war, uh, the Marriga, and uh, the, the horse shape as well. So that's that, that's that canvas there. Um, uh, you have music as well, you know. Um, so, uh, it, it, again, I'd see the painting has been a ritualistic painting, a magical painting. Right, now what I mean by that is, um, best illustrated by this story, which I'll tell you very quickly, a Shinto priest was asked at the conference by the, the, the Christian bishop or whoever else, what theology, what ideology do you have? And he says, I have neither theology, and I have no uh, ideology as well. And, and, the, and the Christian priest said, well, what? What do you do? And he says, I just dance, right? And I said, if Coo Holland had a religion, it would probably dance and lepping about. And uh, for me, it's painting, and I'm happy doing that.